see the person per se, they're, they're always on search of somebody that, that meets that attraction level. So basically what I said is to him was, she haven't met me yet. When I said that, what I meant was different people can bring out different, different, uh, situations in a person. So basically what I was referring to is saying that because she haven't met me yet, she'll be a totally different person with me than what she's used to. Because like I say, everybody don't act the same with, with everybody. That's the way, that's what I meant. And that is facts. You're not going to be the same person with, a, with another person that you was with this person. So that's, that's I see. So that's that's what I was referring to. As long as somebody, as long as somebody is with you, and say for that genre relationship, whatever you want us to put it, what I'm saying is, if the person is not highly attracted to you, it doesn't matter how long or whatever you've been with the person. They they're going to keep they're going to keep searching for somebody to meet to meet that a level. If you not if you not that level, if you don't do it for them. And it's, the search is not going to never stop. Period. It's not going to stop. So we we go ahead. You got all right. All right. So let's 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 kind of try to break this down because we do have a couple of ladies in here. Maybe y'all can chime in if you if, if you want. Um. So here, here's my thing, right? In most cases, statistically speaking, most, most women, and this is my argument, most women date up while men and men date up and down. And when I say up and down, I mean a man really doesn't care about your status or position financially or any of that of that. It's a plus, but it's not a necessity. We can date the average nine to five RBs, or we can date up to the corporate level. Women do not okay, let me, tend to date. Let me let me, let me, nine to, hold, let, me, let, me get, let me let me let me let me get let me get my my balls off. Women do not like to particularly date guys who make less than them, who do not have some sense of importance. And unless this particular guy is meeting her standards on a certain metric, height, physique, personality, attitude, if he doesn't have certain attributes with him, she's not going to deal with him. Now, whether or not he makes more or less, it could really depend on who the person is. What you're trying to say is that because you have certain intangibles that is not meeting or matching her financially, she can still tolerate you or put up with you or be attracted to you. And my thing is that sounds more like you're just there for recreational use or you're just there to appease her in one particular area, but she's not going to want to keep you around for the long term. Also, if that woman stepped out on her husband, why would you want to entertain that? Is it because you feel as though you're going to be any different than the 
person that she said I do to, or is it just off of ego or, or infatuation? Like, I, w- I want you to make sense like, to me. Like I, like you, I, like I just come. said, different different people, I'm going to say it one more time, different people, they do bring out different results in, in, in people. That's, that's just the way it is, bro. I mean, I know it's hard for you to understand or, or, or deal with, but it's, it's just the way it is. You could be with somebody, you could be with some. let's I'm gonna just put it to your example, you could be with somebody for 20 years. They could, they could meet somebody for two months. It's different. That, they, they probably feel better with the two months than the 20 years. It depends on the person it is. That don't, that's what I'm trying to explain to you, bro. That's how it is. Different people bring out different results. And what I'm saying is, and like I was making that statement, they'll probably be different with somebody else depending on, on what they what they feel like is best to them. To them. That's what makes the difference. And going back to what you said at first when you said when you said dudes, they, they up and down. The only question I want to ask you is, okay, what makes a dude date down? Why, why, why would a dude be happy dating down? Why? Well, I'm going a, I'm to a address that. And then I'm going to spin the block on something else you said. Men, we have, we have certain standards. We're, but we're, fairly reasonable and fairly logical and sensible. A lot of times, you know, social media and uh, just the world in general, you know, perpetuates this idea that you have to look a certain way, be a certain way, carry yourself a certain way to be um, a somebody. You have to have this type of woman or that type of man to be a, a somebody. With, with, with dudes, like, I say, me, like, me personally, and someone tell me if I'm wrong in the chat, a dude would rather deal with a five or six on, on the look scale that is chill, that is young, legally young, that has just a, a regular job, that is not loud and annoying and argumentative and manly versus deal with someone who is a nine, eight, or 10, who is used to being put on a pedestal, having everything given to him, um, has this, this, I can do everything. I'm independent, self-reliant. Um, we, we don't want, all we want is peace. I want to be the leader in my in my house. I want to be the leader in my relationship. I'm not, or men in general are not trying to be cavemen or, or like, you know, slave masters or anything like that. But in order for a healthy relationship of any kind between the opposite sex for it to work, that man man has to be able to do what he, he needs to make sure everything is, is cool. Now, 